Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to get back to the grind for a melanistic red deer on Tiawaroa. Now that I can finally play this map without crashing constantly, I can actually enjoy my third favorite map, which is going to be awesome because I really do love hunting on Tiawaroa and red deer are my favorite thing to hunt here. So we're going to real quickly get the red deer collar and then change the time to nighttime so that we can actually hunt them. And then, hopefully, we can find ourselves some good red deer. Now, we did actually spend like two hours or so on live streams setting up all of our tripod stands and tents for this red deer grind because I knew I wanted to really get at it. So, we've got tents all over the primary lakes that we're going to use and also this river and this little spot right here. Because these are the locations that we're going to be using for this grind. They're going to be the quickest ones to get to. And we obviously want to make the best out of the time we have for their drink time. Want to be able to get them as quick as possible. So we've made it to where we're only hunting like three main areas. And then this one zone right here. So let's go ahead and start over here. Since I've got lots of pressure over on this side. I did actually forget to put a tripod over on the right side of this bridge, but we will do that on our next run through here because if I place it now, it's just going to spook off everything that's over here. And this is actually a pretty awesome drink zone for red deer. There is just so many of them here. I believe we have a total of like four stags and then a bunch of hinds. So this is going to be a great place to uh, grind them. We've got amazing herds on the right side of this river. So let's go ahead and just line up on a couple. I think we are definitely going to get that level seven. And if we can, we will get this level seven also. Um, I think there should be one more that we're not seeing, but uh, we have at least. Oh, there he is. Level three. What a beast. So all four of them are there. We're going to prioritize this guy and this one over here. Don't know if we're going to get this guy. And I think that should be vitals. Yeah, we definitely got vitals on that, so we got both of them. Uh, the question is, did we get the first one vitally? I actually don't even know. Oh, it looks like we did, and he's floating over to us, so a little unfortunate that he's going to float, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll just have to wait for him. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and get this tripod stand placed probably right here. This is going to be a good place to have it. And we might actually be able to see some of the ones over here from this tripod too. And we definitely can. Uh, how far away is that? So that's about 300. That's actually not bad. That's probably where we would want it provided we can actually see. And of course the pillar's right in the way. So I guess we're going to move it just a little bit. That is much better right there, so now we can actually view this zone from this spot too. And smoke that guy. Here's this little guy right here, 196.10, we did end up getting left lung. So basically the way that I've got this set up is there's a tent at every single zone. So we can just fast travel over and claim them after we kill them and it should speed things up quite a bit. Uh, the zones are far enough apart to where we shouldn't end up spooking anything when we travel. So I feel like this is going to be a really efficient way to hunt the red deer. But obviously if we need to, we'll make some tweaks. But I'm thinking that it's going to be pretty efficient. And this is our second red deer of the day, 192.40. Very solid stag. And we just fast travel over here and we're right on top of the other one. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty efficient. But as with all of our grinding videos, we're not going to waste time showing every single kill we get. We'll probably just show off the good kills. And speaking of good kills, uh, we got ourselves a mythical over there. Definitely want to get that guy down. Um, I want to set my tripod up at exactly 300 meters. So we're going to move a little bit closer and then place the tripod down and we should be good. Uh, this will be perfect right here actually. So just move over a little bit and... That should be great. I'm actually curious if I can see the other zone from here. And we can. This is going to work out amazingly. I'm actually really happy with this. So let's go ahead and get this big guy down. By far the biggest one that we have killed today. And then we will also try to take down both of these. And he moved right as we were trying to shoot. So he's going to get away. But, I mean, it is what it is. We still managed to get that giant mythical, so I am pretty happy with it, even if we didn't get the second one on the other side. But that guy is a 220.40. Man, that is a beautiful rack. 
This is actually very similar to the uh, albino that we ended up getting. I think this is the same rack almost, although this one does look a little bit different. It almost looks like the tines stick out straight more. I like that a lot, actually. You know, I really feel like this has a lot more random angles on the tines. I'm going to tax this just to uh, compare it to some of the other ones in the lodge. Because I don't think I've actually ever seen this rack look like this before. Uh, let me know down below if you've ever seen one that looks similar, but it just really seems like the tines are curled in more like this. I like it though. So it looks like we actually have another red deer zone out here that I might want to set up on. So at some point I'm gonna have to pull a tent from somewhere else and drop it over here, but I think this could be a pretty good one to use actually. It's in a really, really good spot. So I definitely want to start using it, but we will wait till a future run to set up on there. For now, we'll just hunt the ones that we currently are using. Oh my gosh, there we go. So we got ourselves a level 9 legendary. And this is actually the first time I've been to this lake today, so that means this is a respawn from the grinding we did on stream a couple days ago. So that's pretty cool. We got ourselves a level 9. It's the rack that I'm not a really a big fan of, but I believe this one should always make diamonds, so provided we don't mess the shot up, this guy should end up making it. That's 360 meters though. That is a very long shot, so it's not going to be easy, but I think we should be able to make this if everything goes as planned. And that looked good. Yeah, definitely is, and he's actually not even going to move. Well then, <laughs> interesting. Iggy again die. There we go. He finally died off. Then we also got this one here, so let's see if we can get him to... Not going to be an easy shot, but... Oh my gosh, we actually hit it. And we got vitals too. You know, normally I'm not a huge fan of this rack, but it's been so long since I've killed one that looks like this that I'm not all that mad, actually. It's actually kind of nice to get something other than uh, the troll rack and the big rack. So let's go ahead and get a picture of our dog next to it, actually, because he's in a great spot. Um, I don't know if it's even going to show up. I mean, that looks kind of cool right there. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Giant red deer with the moon in the background and our dog right next to it. That's actually not a bad picture. I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and he should make it. Yeah, that's a diamond at 254.60. Beautiful. That is an awesome way to start things off today. We've probably only killed like maybe 10 red deer and we've already got this guy showing up. Hopefully we can manage to get a rare or even better, just a melanistic so that we can end the grind already, but even if we don't find a Mela, we at least got this guy. I also did real quickly want to mention that I know a lot of people have been running into some major bugs with maps like Verhonga Savannah and Silver Ridge Peaks where you're not able to fast travel to certain places or on Verhonga's case, it just completely cuts out all audio for some unknown reason. But so far from the time that I've played on Tiawaroa, I have yet to see any bugs with this map. So if you're looking for a bug free map or virtually bug free, Tiawaroa is probably the place to be right now, and Rancho Del Arroyo, obviously, because that map seems to be in pretty good working order. So, well, <laughs> it looks like a beaver smoked our... Uh tripod stand that's just great we're gonna have to put it in a different area I think I still have them on me though so uh, we'll just end up dropping it a little bit further up and hope for the best I think it was too close to the water last time and that was probably what killed it 
So we'll just stay a little bit further away from the water this time and we should be good then. I mean, I guess we could try it right here. Uh, this would be an interesting spot because what we could do then is we'd be able to shoot these and I think we could look through the uh, bridge and be able to shoot that guy over there and that's actually a pretty decent seven. Um, hopefully this won't spook them. If it does, it does, but I'm not going to take any of them without having a tripod down because then we risk losing a zone or two, so let's just do that and then these guys are not spooked, so we actually should be okay. Nice. Ooh, look at that. That is a level seven piebald. That is a really cool one. I think it's piebald at least. Yeah, that's definitely piebald. Look at that beauty. So that would be a respawn from the first run that we did today because we shot probably five or six red deer at this area. Maybe slightly less actually. We've got another one over there, uh, but that guy's pretty cool. That is a really cool red deer. So 250 out, this is not gonna be an easy shot, but I think we should be able to make it. That should be good. Can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Yeah, he's definitely going down. So that's the second cool thing that we've had in, I think roughly like 25 kills maybe. We're off to a really good start. And at this point, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include every kill in this video. I probably will do it in some type of a montage format just so you guys can see the kills, but I don't know, I guess it's gonna depend on how much time I have to edit this video, but if I have the time to do it, I'll put all of the kills that we get in like a montage format just to make it so you guys can see like all the progress that gets made uh, to work towards these trophies. But there we have probably one of the coolest piebald red deer that I've ever killed. I think the only one that would be cooler is the level eight one that we have. And both of my big piebalds have been really uneven like this, which is kind of interesting. I almost never get these wonky ones, but the times that I do, they end up being piebald. But I can't really complain, that's still a piebald nonetheless at 201.42. That is a beast of a red deer. Really nice rare red deer. So already this grind has produced two awesome trophies, uh, but no melanistic yet. So that's a little unfortunate, but we're still pretty early on. I think between today and the live stream that we did hunting the red deer, we've probably only killed like 50 or 60 red deer. And we've already got a diamond and a piebald out of it. So pretty awesome. Can't really complain. Okay, so that's actually kind of interesting too. Uh, one of the other red deer at the exact same lake, relatively close to him, is also a very uneven one. Uh, very similar to what he looks like actually so we're getting a lot of wonky red deer which is something that I haven't really seen too much obviously you see them occasionally but I'm seeing a lot of them this update which is very interesting You know, one thing I'm noticing about this spot right here is there's a lot of different tracks that say 210 to 240, and none of them are the ones that I'm shooting. I think there's a lot more that drinks here than I think, and I should probably end up moving my tent at some point, because it really feels like there might be five or six, maybe even seven red deer drinking here. I mean, that's another 210 to 240, although this time it is him, but that's kind of crazy. There's at least two more... Uh, red deer this area. There was a small level 5 that ran off and then there's also another 210 to 240. 
I'm really curious how many I actually drink here. I'm probably going to end up moving the tent and the stand just a little bit or maybe even getting two of them over here so we can have a tent on this side to hunt them from and then a tent over here to come claim them. I think that's what we'll probably end up doing, but I think we're going to go ahead and just end the video there. We've probably got a full video's worth of content now, so let's go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge and take a look at these guys. It's actually been a little bit since we've been in the trophy lodge at night, and I do really like the way things look in here when it's nighttime. I think it looks really cool with the kind of like glowing from the lights. It gives it a different type of look, and I really like the way that it does look. So I don't know exactly where we are going to put the rare one. Uh, obviously, we're not going to replace either of these rare red deer, so... I don't even know if the rare is going to go in this lodge, but I think we're definitely going to put the diamond in our diamond red deer room or somewhere in this lodge at least because I want to get as many diamond red deer in here as possible. I just love the way they look, but I don't really see anything that I want to remove. Pretty much everything here is something that I want to be a permanent addition to the lodge. So I think we're just going to have to pass on putting either of these guys in this uh, trophy lodge, but we will real quickly take a look at them in the lodge just so that you guys can get a look at them and Man, this guy looks beautiful. I like this one. It's one of the few uneven racks that I don't think looks terrible. Um, it's not perfectly good looking, but it's not awful at least. Because some of these uh, uneven racks can look pretty bad. This one's not all that terrible. And then there is our diamond red deer. What a beautiful looking red deer. Not my favorite of the diamond racks, but at least it wasn't the troll rack. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on whether or not you enjoyed this video or what you would like to see in future videos because I do take your guys' ideas, and if I like them, I end up making videos out of them. So if there's anything you want me to do, drop it in the comments below. I know there's a lot of awesome things that we could be doing in Call of the Wild right now with some of the changes that came with this patch uh, the geese have been a lot of fun obviously rancho is a blast so if there's anything in particular that you would like to see drop it in the comments and if enough if enough people upvote it or if i see the same comment multiple times from different people then maybe we will end up doing it but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace